Hi everybody! I have a question here I'm going to do a little mini answer for. The question is, how can I seek for my garden angel? So let's see what Spirit shares about this. It's getting softer, softer. I feel like I'm getting smaller and smaller. The soil is really great. I see it's really thriving and healthy. There's worms and insects that help the soil rejuvenate and refresh and fill with all the minerals that it needs to help plants grow. The plants down here, I'm sort of a little tiny insect size, and so they're like trees and they're super big over my head and they create lovely shade and they're so green and thriving and healthy and I feel super happy about this. I feel like a, an insect worker and I just love it when the soils are fresh and when the plants are super happy and green and thriving and they feel just so good and everything just feels in balance. My motivation is balance, balance, balance. I want balance. Makes me happy. Makes me feel really good inside. Makes me feel balanced. Spirit says, so when the soils are fresh, when the plants grow and thrive, not only is the earth reflection in balance, but you too are in balance. I say, oh yeah. They're showing me the planet earth they're asking how healed is the soil how healthy are the plants how can we be like the insect workers and really create a thriving world for us all a world where the earth the soil is all in balance and harmony and we can all rejoice in that experience and feel joy there is a calming sensation a twist or turn of the wind so we can see this differently now. There is quite an, an alteration in the way I feel. It's completely disconnected. It feels more shadowy. It doesn't hear the sounds of joy the insects sing over the soil or the plant. It's disconnecting further and it feels like I, I can see this world with my eyes but to experience it with my heart is so much more complicated because what I see, it doesn't tell me how to find what I'm looking for through the influence of my heart energy. They say when you are seeking love, how do you look for it? With your eyes? Or you look for it then with your heart? They say you will find what you are looking for when you open your heart and allow the song to enter it and then to be released like an inhalation and ex exhalation. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out. <laughs> they are wanting to help you further with this. They're showing me more of a upsetting scene. They want me to describe it. It's kind of a, a reflection of Jesus being put onto a cross the this truth is being nailed into the cross in a way that hurts very very bad this is a symbol not only of jesus suffering it is a symbol of a very powerful voice saying do not love do not love or else we will hurt you very very badly this is what happens to those who love they say take this reflection of a human being who loves off of the cross take out these very painful nails allow this human being to heal now 
allow all human beings to heal now so that our hearts can experience profound love and joy. There is no punishment for loving. They are talking to me about a human being who through over time had to develop an, in, an ability to shut down their senses of love in order to open up their minds and now the mind is the more prominent tool the heart then is secondary they are emphasizing the importance of the heart being the brain now and allowing the mind then to become secondary can you accomplish this? They say, yes, yes, you can. You can accomplish this. Now look within your heart and find it what it is you are looking for. The heart now is glowing with love and joy. The heart now feels. The heart now releases from the experience that disconnects us from the spiritual wisdom we long for. They say, they say, don't be afraid to get very, very small, get very, very low, <laughs> and be like the insects. Don't be afraid to laugh in your work at healing the earth, at rejoicing in the healthy, thriving plants. Have fun with this gift of healing Mother Earth and feeling healed by Mother Earth. There's a reference here that you are the garden angel. You always were the garden angel you were looking for. There's more to this message. You are a garden angel that they show me too how surrounded you are, but how surrounded we all are with so many thriving energetic reflections helping us at every moment. And to discover who they are, we must open our hearts, look within ourselves. The spirit realm is a reflection of divine love. How will you find the spirit realm if you are not looking within your heart? So that is all. Thank you so much for your beautiful question. All right, so for those of you new to my channel, if you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, I do share psychic wisdom and spiritual healing at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you for watching.